Thank you for joining me yet again today for another unboxing video. And today we have more goodness from the Starfinder RPG system. And what we're going to talk about today is the Core Rulebook Pawn Collection. Of course, everything Starfinder deals with outer space and different creatures and different things um, related to space. And here we have it. Again, always starts off with the gorgeous artwork that they have. Of your new adventures from the Starfinder role-playing game. Again, the core rulebook pawn collection. So let's flip this over real quick. Let's see what it says on the back. It says Starfinder Core Rulebook Pawn Collection. It says, open the shuttle bay doors and bring your science fantasy adventures to life with this beautiful, beautiful pawn collection, designed for use with the Starfinder role-playing game or any tabletop role-playing game. Within the Starfinder Core Rulebook Pawn Collection, you'll find 100 unique creature pawns, including members of all core races and classes, perfect for representing your next character or deadly foes, as well as bizarre alien monsters to aid or challenge your players. In addition, you'll also find 15 unique starship models from the Starfinder Core Rulebook to help you better track the laser-filled chaos of space battles. Best of all, this set contains multiples of most pawns, so your heroes will always be able to face off against a horde of space goblins and security robots or blast their way through a fleet of warships. Printed on sturdy cardstock, each pawn slots into a size-appropriate plastic base from the Starfinder Pawns base assortment, making them easy to mix with traditional metal or plastic miniatures. The Starfinder Core Rulebook and Pawn Collection is the best way to ensure you've got the perfect character for every Starfinder role-playing game counter. So, the beautiful thing about this, again, like it says, it has lots and lots of different characters. On the back here, it shows you right here your small creatures and tells you how many you get of each. Of course, you got your medium creatures as well. And you have your large creatures your starships now this is for a cost of $24.99 again I got this 40% off uh, at the sale for a miniature market they're having a it was called a science fiction sale and I was lucky enough to get for 40% off okay but again if you can always purchase it from the great people Pazio Pazio.com backslash Starfinder of course the only drawback to the pawn collections that I've seen now the artwork is beautiful on each of them the standees are great the problem is that, that the bases do not come with them. So it's an additional add-on uh, to buy the bases. So somebody like Miniature Market will carry them, but if you go to your local gaming store, they may not carry the bases. So that's the only thing you have to really concern yourself is the fact that uh, anytime you buy a pawn collection, again, you get all your goodness in there, you have the standees, but you don't have the stands for the standees. So that's kind of a drawback to purchasing these. Um, I love them. I think they're great. I use them for all my Starfinder games. I find it actually easier to store these um, because they're nice and flat and you can store a lot more. And um, of course I love uh, figures as well because I've done some unboxing for their figures as well. But at the same time, the standees kind of, um, it's just a little bit easier, especially when you're doing a role playing game. And so I, I think it's great that Pazio's made the investment in creating all these pawns uh, for their system. I think, I think it's absolutely fantastic. But again, it would be a plus for them. They might charge you a little bit more uh, to have the pawn, uh, have the uh, bases as well. But again, um, you know, I understand why they have it separate as well. Um, so again, we will move that from the again. The, the inside writing really has uh, really has nothing to do with its product identity and the open game license version uh, version 1.0a. Uh, nothing to do with the game. Just uh, kind of the legalities of things so put that to the side and here we have our counters and here we go so again some of them have multiples some of them don't that's your front any of your back, so it's just a reverse of it. So that's one of them. 
Again, they're very, very easy to pop out and they're just as easy to pop back in. So if you have any board games and you know how these work, they're very, very easy to, to punch out. Very easy. Put that to the side there. I'll take a look at some of the starships that they said were included. It's not a starship, it's an actual creature. Sarcesian. Those are the larger creatures. Maybe a medium size, not sure. We have to check. Here's the front, and the carousel. I'll flip it over the backs. Going the alternate direction. So that's cool. And you got some more. So as they mentioned, you get a hundred of these pawns. It gives you a lot of options. Now the different thing with figures, of course, you could buy figures from, you know, these are obviously Starfinder pawns from, uh, from Pazio themselves. So that, you know, they only can give you a limited amount of characters to choose from when making pawns. Now, again, if you're using a pre-made character or something like that from the original box set, you could use these pawns. Now, if you want to create your own and you don't have a figure that best represents like the armor that they're wearing or the weapons they're wearing, that's the beauty of being able to add, purchase figures as well because you could paint them up and uh, add on different weapons and things of that nature. So, you know, the pawns do serve their purposes. Um, I enjoy using them, like I said, because uh, I don't want to go out and buy a whole new range of figures. And they don't have that many figures for this as well, okay? They don't have that many figures available. Uh, they have more pawns available than figures at this point in time. So maybe down the road they may not. But at the same time, I'm just going to say, um, that's why I like having pawns. So I have some quick, easy. I ran a game just the other day, and I had a pawn for every single creature that they encountered. And it worked out perfectly. And... Uh, really made the game more pop and come alive, which is exactly why I purchased those pawns again. Some more. And some more. And again, you see where the doubles are. Again, some have singles, some have doubles. I think it all depends upon what they chose. And the last sheet. Backside. And again, it tells you how easy they pop out. Hit it the wrong way and it popped out. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And that concludes another unboxing for you. All the goodness that comes in the Starfinder Core Rulebook Pawn Collection. Again, thank you for joining me. For this unboxing video if you enjoyed it give us a like leave a comment of course you could always subscribe to our channel this way you keep up to date for any new videos that we release again thank you for coming be safe be well enjoy the remainder of your day and of course 
will catch you on the next unboxing video.